Uh, Jack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. Uh huh. It happens to be missing a forgery. Oh, oh, oh. Uh huh. Uh, Brent Basden is the only signature on this court order. Yes. The court order that I'm to obey for uh, the last, well, really almost four years now, July 31st, June, it's May. <laughs> May tw uh, June 12th, you decided to, to uh, dock at a court hearing 48 days after reissuing the temporary protection order. Mm -hmm. Now, Judge Landis tells me, uh huh, for 16 months, yes, obey the Clallam County no contact order. Ouch. I was arraigned on the 19th day of September of 2017. Mm. Homeless, yes. <laughs> Port Angeles, Washington. Ooh. <laughs> but the problem is, yes, just looking at this court order, is it looks like the only person in the court was Brent, pooch, because it doesn't have the state court seal. Now, I would say that Brent, yes, has violated my right to have due process. Mm. Exhibit A, Jack. Yes. Uh -huh. The respondent did not receive actual notice of the hearing. No. Mm -mm. The order uh, was not issued in accordance with the full faith and credit provision of the VAWA. Mm. And when you consider this as evidence, yes, yes, yes. It looks like the only individual that was there uh -huh, was the court commissioner. Mm -hmm. Now, without the signature of the petitioner, yes. Without the signature of her attorney or the WSBA number, yes. Without any actual documentation that anybody else was in the courtroom, mm -hmm. I would say it's unfair hearings, right, for somebody to take it upon themselves right now and decide, yes. I'm going to issue this for 10 years. Right. I'm just going to do this because I'm the court commissioner and I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. Mm. Now, when we talk about yes, the necessity of having a signature of the petitioner, mm, any court that just decides they're going to do what they want mm, without any notice or opportunity to the respondent, yes, without any protections to the minor's names, yes, without an actual ex-official superior court clerk there, yeah, mm-hmm. There's a big problem with the abuse of power. Now, my thought was, yes, that um, it is unfair yes, to have court hearings, yes, where this uh -huh, mm -hmm, does not look like that. Oh, see, you're missing somebody else as an employee. Oh, now, <laughs> you can see my copy, yes, mm -hmm. signature of the petitioner, yes. Signature of the petition. Ouch. Uh -huh. Page six. Yes. Page six. Ouch. What are we missing on this right now? We are missing any other individuals in the courtroom. Now, why don't you give me every unfair hearing? Yes. Well, you didn't give me notice. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't give me the opportunity to be heard. Yes. And quite possibly you were having court hearings where nobody was in the room. Now, courts are specifically set up so that no judge can on their own discretion decide to do whatever they want <laughs> now as the individual oops, adjudication hearing yes when i informed judge landis that the petitioner did not sign it yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it should have been a key indication that obeying a fraudulent court order means that every court hearing where i appeared where anyone else witnessed the actual court hearing was a complete slander to my reputation. Pooch. Now, I know 